לשיר הזה יש סיפור, אני קוראת לזה השיר של ה... The Irish Jewish mother, who's always worried about her kids far away. And as you know, there are a lot of Irish who emigrated from Ireland to America in order to find work because they were very poor. So this is a story about a fellow that did the same, but unfortunately he wasn't too good about writing his mother home and sending money. So this is what happened. Many years ago in the county, the only story it first began Until this country was finally cured by the first economical plan A fine young man had to leave his home and sail far over the sea But he did very well on the job and he stayed in America Well, he did very well, but he sent nothing home and his mother began to think that maybe he'd run away with a blonde or had spent all his money on drink. So she wrote him a letter straight away, and so she wrote him a letter inquiring for news and sent it straight away. And upon the envelope she neatly wrote, to me son in America. <laughs> well, the postman came and collected the letter and he drove in his van to Cork where he placed it on a lighter in cob that was heading for New York. And along with the whiskey and everything else, the mailbags lay on the quay. And among the letters was an envelope addressed to me son in America. <laughs> well, American postmen, you know, fine folks, they're a lot like me and you. And when upon this letter they came, they didn't know what to do. They consulted all of the officials, but none had anything to say. There was none address for a letter for a man called me son in America. So it lay in the office for years and years, and it gave all the boys a laugh. Until at last it found its place in the training of the staff. To all new postmen who came on the job, it was shown as example A. Oh, insufficiently addressed to me son in America. Now the boy got older and wiser too, and at last to himself he said, Oh, how are things with me mother at home, and is she alive or dead? So he walked downtown to the jeep. Oh, that's the general post office. And he stood with his hat in his hand, saying, Well, by any chance, have you a letter for me, from me mother in Ireland? <laughs> oh, yes, kind sir, now here it is. We've been waiting for you to call. We knew someday that someone would come from Old Cork or Donegal. Of the two million people that's living today and all of the USA, at last, at last, we found the man, me son in America. <laughs> <laughs>